Let us pray the angelus. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For for to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer before Mass. Almighty and ever-living God, we approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come sick to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the regions of eternal light, and poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty, and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and the determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood in its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on my earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of his sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. This all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess. To Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. In my, in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in, in what, what I have done, done and in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, 
through my folk, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, Therefore he asks, blessed, blessed Mary, ever virgin, virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Cast your kindly light upon your faithful Lord, we pray, and with the splendor of your glory, set their hearts ever aflame, that they may never cease to acknowledge their Savior and may truly hold fast to Him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message you have heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Unlike Cain, who belonged to the evil one and slaughtered his brother. Why did he sell slaughter him? Because his own works were evil and those of his brother righteous. Do not be amazed, then, brothers and sisters, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love our brothers. Whoever does not love remains in death. Everyone who hates his brother is murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life remaining in him. The way we came to love was that he laid down his life for us, so we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. If someone who has worldly means sees brothers need and refuses him compassion, how can the love of God remain in him? Children, let us love not in word or in speech, but in deed and truth. Now this is how we shall know that we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before him in whatever our hearts condemn. For God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us his we are. His people, the flocks, he tends. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. 
Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord is good, the Lord's just kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. This all stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus decided to go to Galilee, and he found Philip. And Jesus said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the town of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, Amen, I say to you, you will see the sky opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Siguro lahat tayo ay tinuturuan ng ating mga parents, especially pag pumupunta tayo sa mga public na Wag makikipag-usap sa stranger. O di kaya, wag basta, basta sasama sa stranger. Wag makipag-usap sa hindi kilala. At mas lalong wag na wag na wag sasama sa hindi kilala. No? Unless kakilala mo yung taong yan, ay pwede mong samahan. Mga kapatid ko kay Kristo, para ganito din ang pangyayari sa ating Ebanghelyo. Nakita ni Jesus si Philip and sabi niya, Come, follow me. At itong si Philip na to, meron siyang kasama, no? meron siyang best friend. Sabi niya, natagpuan na namin ang Kristo, halina sumali ka sa amin, sumama ka sa amin. Pero ang sabi ni Nathanael ay, sino ba yung Jesus na yan? No? Mayroon bang magandang magagaling sa Nazareth? Pero pumunta pa rin siya, sumama para tignan si Jesus. And he said, come and follow me. Mga kapatid ko kay Kristo, sa ating Ebanghelyo, itong dalawang karakter na to ay nagpapahiwatig sa ating buhay kung minsan. Sino ba tayo sa Ebanghelyo? Tayo ba si Philip na nung sinabi ni Jesus, Come and follow me. Noong nag ba siya ay buong puso nating pinaulokan ang kanyang imbitasyon? O gaya pa rin ni Natanael na may pagdududa sa kanyang puso sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Ang kanyang imbitasyon ay ina-extend din niya sa ating lahat na sa pang-araw-araw na ating buhay, Jesus is telling us, Come, follow me. Na para ba niyang sinasabi sa lahat ng oras, Choose God. No? Piliin pa rin natin ang Diyos. Piliin pa rin nating mabait. 
Kasi kahit sa mga oras na naiinis na tayo, nagagalit na tayo, ay piliin pa rin natin si Jesus. Piliin natin pa rin magpatawad. Piliin pa rin natin mangunawa. At gaya nga sinabi ko, sino ba tayo sa ating Ebanghelyo? Ano pa rin ba ang tugon natin sa paanyaya ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo? Si Philip ba na bukas ang kanyang puso sa pagtanggap ng imbitasyon ng ating Panginoong Hesus na sumunod sa kanya at isabuhay ang mga turo niya? O gaya pa rin ni Natanael, naghihintay ng milagro upang magbago ang ating pagtingin, ang ating pananalig, ang ating pananampalataya. At the other part of the gospel, Jesus is telling us, mapalad ang mga naniwala kahit hindi pa ako nakikita. In this must therefore, my dear friends, we pray na nawa, puspusin ng ating Panginoon ang ating mga puso ng Kanyang pagmamahal nang makita natin siya sa lahat ng bagay at maging sa ating kapwa-tao. Be a blessing to everyone. Please all stand. We have heard the word of God proclaimed to us. He sees our sincere efforts to lead good lives. And once again, we ask him for his help. We say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church of God may fearlessly, <clears throat> may fearlessly call people to repentance and believe in the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That more people may profess their faith in God in all circumstances of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That families may strive to make their homes places where children can hear God calling them by name. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may hold on to the eternal truths of the good news of Christ and the Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our personal intentions. We pray for all the members of our family, especially those who are far from us. Father, hear the prayers of your people. Do not look on our sinful ways, but show us your gentle mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this all-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours, and begotten from before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation, and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world rem and, rem and bring him to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, 
Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
the body of Christ. Amen.
Please all stand. <clears throat> Let us pray. O God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament, work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. Prayer to the most sacred heart of Jesus. Divine Jesus, you have said, Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened to you. Behold me kneeling at your feet, filled with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart. I come to ask this favor. To whom can I turn if not to you, whose heart is the source of all graces and merits? Where should I seek if not in the treasure, which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where should I knock if not at the door through which God gives himself to us and through which we go to God? I have recourse to you, heart of Jesus. In you I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when burdened with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore, even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will it, and my prayer will be granted. I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy, I beg of you, and your kind heart will find in my will find in my miseries and weakness a reason for granting my prayer. Sacred heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. My Jesus, be pleased to accept this my act of perfect resignation to the decrees of your most adorable heart which I sincerely desire, may be fulfilled in by me and all your creatures forever. Grant me the grace for which I humbly implore you, through the immaculate heart of your most sorrowful mother. You entrusted me to her as her child, and her prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Please kneel for the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you. 
to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, through contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits, and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Then, O dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.